Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Tapos mo na ba ang inyong website or project pero required ka na i-upload ito sa isang web server pero wala kang pambayad ng domain name at hosting services? Well, in this video, tuturuan kita kung paano i-upload ang inyong project sa isang web server ng libre. Yes, you heard it right. It's free. So, ready na? Let's start. In this tutorial, gagamitin natin ang Infinity Free para sa ating web server. So, first, let's open a web browser at itype lang ang Infinity Free. And then, i-click lang ang link ng infinityfree.net. Assuming, wala pa tayong account, so we will sign up first. Here, just type in your email address at ang inyong desired password. So, pagtapos na, just click create new account. And then, Infinity Free will send us a verification email. So, open lang natin ang ating email. And then, look for the verification email pag wala sa inbox, nasa spam. So, on our case, nandito siya sa may inbox. So, just open the email and then, i-click lang natin yung link. Automatically, we will be directed sa Infinity Free account natin. So, let's click Create New Account button. And then, on this part, makikita natin that we are required to type in our subdomain name. Bakit subdomain? Since it's free, hindi tayo pwedeng gumawa ng ating mismong domain name. Now, on this part, we'll be using my midterm project. And makikita natin dito yung mga available domain extensions. So, I'll be using epic.com for our tutorial. And then, search domain. Titingnan ngayon ang mga available na domain. So, since our domain is available, we can now proceed with the next step. Click lang natin yung checkbox. Then, once done for the verification, just click create account. So, we have now our domain name, mymidtermproj.epic.com. So, punta tayo sa control panel. Then, here, I will click I disapprove. So, once the control panel uh, is loaded, makikita natin dito sa landing page that there are tons of uh, menus na available. We have here account settings, open file, uh, open file manager, directory privacy, FTP accounts, even databases such as MySQL and PHP My Admin Tool. Then even email accounts, SSL, and other stuff sa baba, pati support. So for now, we'll be using the file manager. So let's go to our account, then manage. So dito, makikita natin yung account details, our password for each uh, control. Let's go to file manager. Then makikita natin dito that there's a folder htdocs. Ayan. And sa labas nyan, there's a note that do not upload files here. Instead, we will upload all our files inside the htdoc folder. So, click natin yung upload icon and then we will choose file. Then, let's browse our HTML files, our index and registration.html. Once done, i-upload naman natin ngayon yung ating mga folders. So, if you have pictures, videos, CSS and other files na kasama dun sa HTML or website nyo, you need to upload them also here on the htdoc folder or directory. So now, let's upload our images. 
basically, pagtapos na, we can now access or visit our uh, domain or website kung activated na siya. So, we'll type on our browser, mymidtermproj.fz.com. So, ito yung message na makikita natin if that domain is not yet existing. So, may note dito sa Infinity Free that it will take 72 hours no, for the uh, website to, active, to be activated. Pero sometimes, hindi naman gano'n. Uh, try nyo after 30 minutes or even an hour. Yan, pag wala pa rin, try nyo lang. So, ayan. After an hour, let's try it again. So, there you go. Uploaded na ang ating website. So, you can now browse your website. You can now send the link to your friends, to your professor, para ma-check. Ayan. So, that's it. Just click, like, share, and subscribe. I hope may natutunan kayo. Thank you and good luck.